welcome back everyone and in this video we will see how we can create conditional statements in our programming language so there are three different conditional statements which you can use which are if else if and else so let's write some code to understand conditional statements so let's say we have a variable which is which has stored our age and our age is equal to 25 so basically we are building a program in which we will display three, three different mess messages according to our age so let's first say if age is equal to 10 inside the parenthesis we will write the message by using a print statement say let my ages we'll use string interpolation to print our age and we will now use the second conditional which is else if and inside this oh sorry we have to also provide the condition let's say age equal to 25 we will print another message which will show my age is we will use string interpolation again and now the third condition is else which does not require any condition I will explain to you in th this in one minute you can do my ages by string interpolation we don't need my ages other than 10 and 25 so basically this is a simple conditional statement in swift 3 so let's understand so basically this is a if condition if age equal equal to 10 so you must have seen that uh, some sometime I am using a single equal sign and sometime double equal sign so basically the difference is that whenever we want to assign a value we use a single equal sign so let's say here we I was assigning 25 to the variable age so I'm using a single equal sign so and whenever I have to compare two different things I have to use a double equal sign so in this if condition I am checking whether age is equal to 10 so I'm using this double equal sign so basically this age is 25 and 25 is not equal to 10 so this block of code will not run so the second condition is else if in this age is 25 and this is 25 so basically this will come as true so this block of code will run and you can see that here it is printing my age is 25 and this is the third condition so if you want to run the third condition let's say our age was 26 and now you can see that they are printing the message my age is other than 10 and 25 this is because it is the first condition is false because age is not equal to 10 and this is also false because 26 is not equal to 25 so the third condition is will run whenever the age is not equal to 10 and 25 so it will print the message my age is other than 10 and 25 you can place any age that you want so this is not practically possible but yes you can see that our program is running correctly so let's check by entering the age 10 and the message is my age is 10 you can also different operators here such that we can use if my age is less than or equal to 10 it will display the message so let's say my age is 5 it should again display the same message it is displaying the same message this is the use of conditional statements in Swift 3 here we can also do this like this less than only less than which means for 10 it will not work so let's hit our age to be 10 and you can see that it is not working because our condition is age should be less than 10 not 10 so for age 9 it should correctly work so yes you can see that it is printing my age is 9 and one more thing it is not compulsory to use all three of them together we can use if alone 
and also we can use the combination of if and else without using else if let's demonstrate this for you if age equal equal to 10 we can do something and we can also use the else directly instead of s and here you can so do something else so this is a comment in swift 3 so basically we have seen that we can use that three different statements together or two and we can also use the if statement alone if age equal equal to 100 then we can do print I am 100 years old so let's change the age to 100 and you can see that it will run and it will display the message that I am 100 years old basically this is also running this code first and then it is running this so basically this was about conditional statements these statements are very useful when you are building iOS applications so we will learn more about Swift functionalities in the next video thank you for watching